Hey guys, the lighting is really strange in here because like, oh that's better. I look, I look really shiny, how weird. See if that, I keep going up and down the blinds to get the lighting right. Hey, dear, dear, dear. So I thought I was having a bad hair day and actually, it's yeah, bad hair day, definitely bad hair day. Ugh. So, um, hello, if you don't know who I am, my name is Liam Roberts. I'm a yellow status presenter with Unique. Um, if you are watching on replay, you'll know that because there's no red box just in that corner. Um, so go ahead and drop a hashtag replay. That way I know I've uploaded it correctly and I can just give you a little thank you at the end. Um, so for those of you that are new, uh, just go ahead and drop the word new. Um, that way... I can introduce myself and just say um, thanks for watching as well. So if you're watching live with me right now, go ahead and type hashtag Hayley. I'll just put that in the pinned comments. That's just so I know my comments are working. And if you can go and press that heart just in that bottom corner, that way I know my sound is working too. Nothing worse than doing a live and no one can hear what, you, what you're saying. Um, so I know it's a bit of a strange time because I bet like everybody's about to go on the school run and everybody's busy, busy, busy. So I wonder if we can invite some people. Hmm, let's just send a bunch of invites to people. Um, don't know who to invite now. When that the list of people kind of comes up, I just press a bunch. So anyway, so if yeah, so if you're watching live with me right now, go ahead and drop a hashtag Hey Lee, just so I know my comments are working. And if you can press that heart symbol, so I know my sound is working, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, so just while Facebook sort of spreading my face around the internet, um, just go ahead and tap on my nose a little box will pop up and if you just tap that following make sure you follow me and that way you'll get notifications when I go live um, so I think it's a bit of a strange time for people like I said it's a Friday everybody's at work and they're either if they're not at work then they're picking the kids up not picking the kids up well I've no idea what you're doing and you should be watching me so I know there's a few of you there, so how is everybody? I have a beauty bash to get to later, so I'm just making my face look all pretty because you can't go to a beauty bath, bash and not look beautiful. So I know there's a few of you out there watching, just go ahead and drop me a hello, drop me a wave, drop me on anything. Let me know I'm not alone. Am I alone in this world? So I'm just popping some primer on because it helps keep your makeup in place and um, it also gives you that even um, coverage for when you're popping your makeup on. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to put your primer on and then just slap it straight on because it does need to dry a little bit. So that's my old primer, it's nearly gone. Hi Jess, how you doing? Someone's having an issue or something. I'll have to sort that out later. Hi, Nikita. I love that name, Nikita. Right, so because I'm going to a beauty bash, I'm going to bit all out. I just need to brush my teeth. Um, so let me get that one. So I am going a bit all out. So I'm going to be starting uh, with my brows. I'm just going to start with the spoolie. And oh my God, it's so bright in here. Ooh. So I'm going to start with the spoolie and I'm just going to brush those brows in the direction you want them to go in. And just need a little light. You'd brush your hair, you'd, you know, you wouldn't go out and not brush hair. So I'm using my brow palette and I mean that can look pretty, pretty scary if uh, you're not used to seeing it. It's like, oh my god, what's the pink for? I don't know, I did this the other day and I never came back to it. Not good, not good for me. So I'm going to use the dark side and I'm just going to put a bit of product on either side so it's got that really fine point. 
I'm going to do is I'm going to start like a quarter of the way in I'm going to line that bottom brow I'm just literally I'm lining it and then I'm colouring it in you don't need a lot the upside with these products are you don't need a tremendous amount because they're so highly pigmented and you know that it's um, gonna do its job I'm just gonna just try to blend that bit in and then I'm gonna get this lighter shade and then I'm gonna rather than going that way I'm just turning my brush I'm going up to give it that more natural effect you don't have to worry about if you go too low or anything at this point um, because we can fix that in a minute if you ever think where does my brow end and start and things like that just get your brush up the side of your nose and I mean you can just literally put a bit of product there and then where your, where your arch goes and I don't have much of an arch in this but that's across your pupil so from your nose across your pupil and there it is and across the corner of your eye and that's where your brow is to end I mean, I use this palette loads. I don't think I'd ever get another pencil because it's like I go through pencils quite quickly. So I'm just going to do the other side. It's like I would use pencils normally. Um, but I mean, ever since getting this, um, getting this brow palette. I have realised one how easy it is just watch I literally watched um, a friend of mine doing this same tutorial talking you through it and then tried it myself using those instructions and realised how easy it actually is like once you know what you're doing with it and I think that's the problem with, with most women is they, they get a bit nervous and I know I did definitely like I would have before doing this I would have never ever bought a I'd have never bought a brow palette, for one. Um, it wouldn't have been... I'd, I've always wanted one, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know. Like, but then my thing would have been, I'd have no, no clue whatsoever about what to do with it, how to use it or anything so I just I won't, I won't bother and that that would be the issue is I won't be brave enough to to give things a go to sort of come out of my comfort zone and so like when I started this business up it was so far out of my comfort zone you would not believe so I don't know about anyone else, but I have um, over tweezed in my ears. Um, so I do have to wait, make this sort of beginning bit up because I have over tweezed sort of in this area by quite a bit. And that's why they always look a little bit different because I have to put a bit of the darker shade on. Um, to kind of make that bit up so I do kind of fix that side up with the concealer in a moment so I'm just gonna brush that product through help blend it in So, 
then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the setting wax and just set those hairs in place like so and I mean if you smudge on this next bit it doesn't matter you can go back that's the beauty of these products is that they are so buildable I still always think I sound like I'm saying build a bear and I'll come back to it so then bottom two shades the pink makes it look like um like a 3d kind of effect and then that is a highlighter for your brow bone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the conceal part first and then what I'll do is I'll come back to that if I remember <laughs> memory like a sieve so just get a bit of concealer Hey Leone, could you do me a favour Leone, um, can you just press that heart button if you can hear me, that would be appreciated. So this is something that's called a cut crease and because I'm blind as a bat I do have a mirror. Um, so literally you're getting as close to that brow as you possibly can and this is actually a cream shadow brush. But music, it's got such a fine point to the end. Thanks, Leone. So I'm literally just lining that bottom bit, making sure any bits where I might have smudged are no longer there. And I'm literally just putting the concealer on this top part. I'm not going down below the crease because what the concealer does, if you do that, it will... Um, It'll make your eyeshadow um it'll make your eyeshadow crease. So I'm literally just blending that out. And can you see the difference that it's made that kind of harsher line that you want for the rest of your brow? So I'll just get a bit more and I'll just do the top part. Hi Joanne, how you doing? I must admit, this has like been amazing. It's like the first week off work I've had since since May. So I'm just doing the cut crease and just literally just blending that bit in a little bit so it makes it easy when I grab my blending bud. So can you see it's like I'm just fixing it that bit, it's like to a point. So then I'm gonna do it meant to wet these and I've forgotten to wet it, but I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. Oh. Bit of remained in sleep. So I'm just gonna do the exact same to the other brow. And that is Cutting that brow. And then again, put it on because it acts as like a primer for your um, eyeshadow. Oh, Emily! What's up, darling? And again, just getting the remainder of that. Oh my god, that concealer is that good, it's cover up, covered up my mole. Covers up tattoos, I've not tried it yet. That's um, what I've been told. So again, like I said, I do have to make that bit up there. It never looks right, this one, because it's like there's no hair, so it always looks like a bit boxy to me. So again, I'll just get that blending bud. Just 
dab in it. Ooh, that looks better. Ooh, that looks a lot better. So it has just made it that bit better. Right. So before I forget again, I'm going to go back to them brows and I'm going to get my other uh, brow brush and just get some of the pink and just literally again as close as you can and it's it's like a cream this and then put a bit I'm not sure anyway but it's uh, that's what it's for Oh, I find it great as a blusher. So again, just blend it out oh gosh see this is where that's where I smudge here we go and then I'll come back with the highlighter but the highlighter you literally just put on your brow bone So next eyeshadow, so since I'm wearing blue, I'm going to go with blue, I do believe. Um, done this before and I think I did it a little bit too dark. So let's go round two. So I'm going to use my Addiction Palette 4 and sort of these three colours at the end. So Honest, Cheerful and Triumphant. And they look like a, they look like a grey. Um, ooh. I nearly forgot, you need to put your base on. Oh, so I use this, oh, see, not as good as what they say. So I use a splurge eyeshadow cream and it's like, it's a lovely pink color. And basically what this is gonna do is you're color correcting your eye. So literally, like that um, foundation has done for that top bit, this cream eyeshadow is just gonna give you that even base and really make those colours pop. So I might put a bit of silver on actually. Hmm. I think I'll use silver as well. Yeah. So just like that bit there. Just it's, see how it's just neutralised the skin. And I'll show you what another trick as well. So I'm just going to put my pencil eyeliner on the waterline. This is just a black. So I'm going to put it all on. Why not? Sorry, I do concentrate when I do eyeliner and I think you can understand why. <coughs> so I've literally just closed my eyes and done that. Easy peasy lemon squeeze it, but I do always do that bit first. So this next part, you can do this with a liquid splash as well, actually. I'm going to use a liquid splash and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to put a bit more on. Like I said, this is just giving you that even keel. 
So if you're gaining any value from this or you kind of think my friends might like it, go ahead and press that share button. After all, sharing is caring. So um, I'm going to show you how the liquid splash, so this is sympathetic. Can, it's a like a peachy nude, but it's not just a lip splash. It's never been just a lip splash. So, put a few drops of that on my face. I'm going to put a few drops of the concealer in with it. So I've literally put the liquid splash on my face. And now what? I might need it now. Oh no, we're, we're good. I'm just literally down in the triangle. Just blend that out. And now, look at that. Bag there, bag gone. Goodbye dark circles with a simple Lipstick. Lipstick got rid of that. Hey Dawn, do you want to see how lipstick gets rid of your dark circles? Yeah, lipstick. Doot, doot, doot. Three. You ready? Lipstick getting rid of dark circles. Who would have thought it? I'm literally going to put a tiny, tiny bit of concealer. and just mix them. What you're doing is you are colour correcting those greeny tones that are coming out in your skin. By putting that pink on, it basically colour corrects and it's gone. Who knew? Who knew you've been up since crack of dawn or didn't get a good night's sleep? Yesterday. Thank you. The green, they change colour. So sometimes I get told they're grey, sometimes they're green, blue. The upside of having green eyes, isn't it? It's like more the proper green today, I think. I bet your eyes are stunning too, Lisa. Right, so I'm going blue anyway. So I've literally just put the splurge on and the concealer on, and this is cheerful. So this is it's like a greeny blue as well. So I'm literally going to go from the outside in in little circle motions. So just like so. And you need to move your hair out of the way. Would help, wouldn't it? See, so this ends up um, looking really like greyish. I'm going to try, this is a different kind of way of doing it. So I'm going to try and not make it look grey. Just literally, that's all I'm doing. A little circle motion, not going right into the corner. If you don't want that too dark, and I think I'll use a silver as well. Try and bring out the blue. So I'm just literally using a really tiny bit at a time. And instead of um so what I used to do is just chuck it, you know, chuck it, chuck it all on and really just hope for the best. But rather rather than doing that, just build it up slowly. So then it's a bit like when you used to do, um, you know, painting in school. You want to add a little bit at a time and just build it up. You don't want to do a go OTT. So I want this colour to quite take over in a way on that outside. Oh, I felt like I had a... Oh, I have, I've got an eyelash. Sorry guys. Oh God, that's awful. Eyelash on the line. I think it's gone. Oh, 
God, I couldn't imagine what that's like if you've got contacts in. I don't know where it's gone, but it's not mine anymore. Oh. Anyway. Like I said, just building that up. We can fix this in a bit anyway. To give it that kind of really sharp edge towards that point in the eyebrow. Hi Gemma, so ladies, what have you been doing with this lovely week that we've had? Quite nice weather actually. Really glad because we needed to do the garden. So, I never ever, don't ever just do one eye and then try and get the other eye exactly the same. Do them both sort of simultaneously. And get each layer right and then it saves you a big job at the end trying to replicate what you did I've got a pounding headache as well so this sun isn't helping or poking myself in the eye that doesn't help either does it So just keep sort of looking back to see if you have kind of got them even. Even Steven. I think Ooh, it's looking like a lovely blue proper blue like it should so what you do to the top you do to the bottom it feels weird when you first do this because I don't normally do it with this kind of brush but especially when you put yourself in the eye but look at that it doesn't hurt it's natural stuff just putting that bit on the bottom it's looking like a really lovely lovely blue just want to make sure they are even, even Steven. See, this is where you then keep going and keep going and keep going, and it's just like, ah. So I think you just need to blend this one a little bit more. Looking good, that will need tidying up. Right, so then I am, do you know what? Because I don't want to ruin it like I did last time. Yeah, so I'm going to get this darker blue, the tri triumphant, we get a really tiny, tiny bit. And just literally in that corner. If you want to still be able to see that sort of lighter blue poking out. So again, 
on the sun. So I'm just not going as far because I don't want to keep it to that outside corner. So then I'm going to use a different brush, this one, because this Honest is a shimmer and shimmers like to be pressed. They like to be pressed on, not, um, not rubbed on. kind of looks grey but it's really not, it is blue. I'm just going to put a little bit of that darker one on because you can't, you can't tell the difference too much at the moment. So this is what I mean by building it up. Build it up rather than just going all in. You can kind of see a darker shade. It's not great on the on the lens. I think I need more. That's why. But you can still kind of see how it fades fades out as well. <clears throat> Voice is going a little bit. So I just forgot to do the same to the bottom as you do to the top. So you can see, seeing like actual like in real life, you can see all the different kind of shades of blue, um, but it's not really coming across in the camera very well. Trust me, it looks awesome. <laughs> Definitely, it's like a it's like a navy blue. angled brush and get that shimmer again to pat on the inside so just here we go and again what you do to the top you do to the bottom so that's why the shimmers go in on the bottom Make sure I've got in there. Right. Let's have a look. Right, now I shall tidy those bad boys up with a bit of concealer. Oh, actually, I'll do what Heather does. Let's get this. I'm not doing a wing. I'm not brave enough for a wing. I don't need to flare today. So this is like a, a lovely slate grey. So I'm just following my lashes. See, I don't know how you managed to put yourself in the eye with that bit, I'm alright. Yeah, this is a drip, dip and draw eyeliner. This actually came in the Defend Innocence bundle, which I do believe is still on offer. Where all I 
items or proceeds go to the amazing charity. Oh, that's all right. Yep. Not as it's not as harsh as the black one. Um, it's it's quite subtle actually. Hi Stephen, how how's your is it your back? If I remember rightly, how's the concrete stairs? So I'm just gonna tidy that up a little bit and just. Tidy up that edge. And you see that difference? Just literally, because you don't want too much underneath. I'm not going to. Did I say good morning? Or did I just say hello? Just coming from work. Oh, that's not bad if you're back at work already. How's Carla? How's the lovely Carla? She hadn't re replied to any of my messages recently. Miss her. So again, just double checking that they are even Stephen. <laughs> even Stephen. So, can you see? I'm not sure if you can see in this light. Oh well, I'm not brave to go any more than that, so that will do for me. So, I have remembered, guys. I have remembered to go back to my brow palette. And, ooh, ooh, where is it? It's in here. I've remembered to go back to my brow palette to the highlight part. So, that's just this bit here. And you can apply it with your fingers if you want. And use a brush. So you're literally just putting it on your um, brow bone and that is it. It's easy when you know how. And just brush blending that pink in a bit, I've noticed it a little bit. So that's eyes and brows done. I'm going to have to wash all these brushes. Eyes, brows done. Uh, do I need concealer to conceal up any? Oh, yeah, we do. We need that concealer back. So, the, uh, so I often get asked what's the difference between the foundation and the concealer. Oh, let's read this. Going to have to teach them that. Yeah, Heather, you need to um, either follow or add Anne Massey on Facebook because she's amazing. Um, definitely, definitely worth following. So we've got a bit of concealer. We've got some bits I would like to conceal. I've learned everything I know from Anne. She's amazing. I'm rubbish with eyeshadow but you do get as well Heather you get one of the palettes I don't know which one I can't remember sometimes it changes you get one of the palettes in your kit see I've um the one that I just used so number four um that one I got with my fast start kit fast start bundle so hitting fast start and then the other one I just bought because I wanted it. Really bad headaches, such a bad headache. So I'm done with them. Um, foundation. So today I've decided I'm going to use the cream foundation. Um, mainly because I'm running out of my liquid foundation. And with these parties this weekend, I want to make sure I've got a bit of everything. Um, so this uh, cream foundation. If you had a 
foundation brush I would be using that but I don't not with proper one anyway so I can use my blinding rod does the job so I'm like to pressing it in if you don't know how to use a blending brush you press and you know it's as good as all the others and it makes your skin feel so nourished and moisturised because I really have dry skin I'm a yellow at the moment hopefully by the end of the month I will be pink are you are are you a presenter Marcia? <laughs> but I used to, I weren't sure on the um cream foundation to start with because I was like felt a bit weird putting cream on my face but it's actually really good it just it does take a little bit longer than, than like the liquid or to apply from because they haven't got the proper tools no i'm not that good see. marcia add me on um add me on facebook drop me a message hon and i can um and i'm gonna say it at the end but i'll say it now so um yeah if you are interested um drop me a message um or drop the word business and what i'll do is i'll pop in your inbox can answer any questions you've got um sorry do concentrate near the brow area yeah so um oh god pressing random things yeah so um i can answer any question you've got i've got some information i can send you as well if you're considering it i must admit it's the most fun i've had ever <laughs> like I could not um I could I could not do makeup for like you know and I was even like I wouldn't ever seek it out either though so I wouldn't god Facebook's being weird so I wouldn't ever like I wouldn't seek out I wouldn't go and watch makeup videos or something like that I wouldn't do that I'd just struggle and hope for the best um and like so i had um i bought unique products why is there an angry face who pressed an angry face now i've said angry face someone's pressing angry faces okay i don't know what I've, who i've offended yeah just do it for the best yeah. Sorry, it's in the public live. If you're angry, stop watching. Or if someone's got someone, someone's got a kid's phone, maybe. Gosh, I don't want to make people angry. That is not my mission. So if you don't know me, my mission on Facebook is to um, help women feel confident about their makeup skills and. Uh, feel confident in their skin really like even if you don't wear skin uh, wear skin oh my god even if you don't wear makeup you know you need to look after your skin anyway so uh, I spent way too long doing that foundation just then but because it kind of gives me a little bit of a shine um, I'm going to use the press just chuck a little bit of the pressed powder over the top um, When they press it, it will come up with their face before and it doesn't um it doesn't because this is a public live and I've shared it into other places where there's not not everyone's got me as a friend on Facebook. So at the moment it says seven people are watching. Um but there's only a couple of you that are actually my friend on Facebook, if that makes sense. So if they're not my friend on Facebook like 
I actually don't think I can see. No, I can't actually see who's watching. Oh God. So, oh well. If they want to watch and send me angry faces, crack on. See, I'm getting a mixture of sad faces and angry faces, so I have a feeling it could be a kid pressing it. But, oh well. I don't, I don't know if I'm making anybody sad. It's a shame that it doesn't show like everybody. So, that's me covered up. It's like I'm getting laughing faces and everything. It's like, yeah, okay. See you later. Um, so, I shall now look like a jigsaw puzzle. I love doing this. It's so much fun. So this is a uh, contour stick. Um, see, I normally use... Um, I normally use uh, bronzer. But I figured, let's have a go. Do this instead. I do love my bronzer. Bronzer for contouring is so easy. So. And that is sort of generally, so it's like a three around your face. And then mine's broken. I don't know how it broke, but it's broken. This bit kind of wobbles and comes off. And then this is like your highlighting stick. Much put there, bit there, down your schnoot. And then a little flower has gone on your head. Yeah, you do. You get it in your kit. The kit changes all the time, you see. So my kit, what I got, was is completely different to what you... Oh, wrong way around. Uh, it's completely different to what you're going to get. Apart from, like, certain items in there. Um... Yeah, you get the bronzer, it's amazing as well. I'm sure it's the bronzer you get. Um, but one thing you do get, and it's my favourite ever, this is the blending brush. It's the best brush in the whole entire world, in my opinion. It makes blending your eyes so much easier. So I don't have a contour brush yet, so this is one of my old, 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 old ones. So I'm just going to, in circles blend that in you don't actually want to look like a jigsaw puzzle so the whole point of contouring is to um, create a shadow to then give the illusion of light and here's what I've been told you don't go past the eye so some people have closer eyes further apart eyes so that kind of depends on on your face shape with how much you have to work with. So. It's quite dark that. I do get a bit nervous with contouring. So under here again you're giving that illusion if you don't have a double chin, you don't, honest. But you just blend it in. And then this is uh, to make it look like you've got bigger lips. Does it work? Mm. So just give the illusion of the smaller snoot. I've got a t quite a tiny, not bad snoot. So I'm okay with my snoot. I like saying snoot. Snoot. <laughs> Dreading going back to work next week. Because then my lives get later. Less energetic. My hair always gets in the way, I find. So I feel like Actually, no, shortly on, shortly on, I'm going to be brave. I'm like really, really anxious when it comes to um, 
contouring. I feel like I've like been tangled. And having a fringe in doing this job just doesn't doesn't work at all. Schnoot. <laughs> schnoot. I like my schnoot. Stephen, didn't you once tell Carla I was a crazy lady, I believe? Says on what you're watching now, that crazy lady again. She told me. And now you're watching the crazy lady do makeup. You're watching me now. Ha. Carla bit amazing at this, her makeup's awesome. Yeah, but after my hair. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the smart thing to do. Mitch my brow. So contouring kind of on your forehead gives that illusion of a smaller forehead and my forehead's like giant. So I'm just going to get a cleaner brush and just, you can't see the light bits but I have put some on that need blending in. So that's like, I'm going to use this brush actually. Oh that is better, that's a better brush. Ah my brows. Sorry, now I'm in the way of the camera, but I don't care. Oh, this is a better brush to use. I think I put a bit too much on one schneid of my schnoot. My schnoot, hey Nicola, I'm looking at my schnoot. <laughs> okay, I'm going bonkers now. My schnoot. Oh, I'm looking at my schnoot rack. Let's get the highlighter. The highlighter. Look how well my eyes pop. Wow, look at that. Amazing. This is a cream to powder, powder eye highlighter. I would rather have a, just a powder on personally. But I need a fan brush as well. So I'm pretending this is a fan brush. Pretend it's a fan brush, guys. Literally just go around your eye in a curly cur. Not a kicking cur, a curly cur. Into my arm. You can directly put this on, but I prefer to do this because I haven't got much space between my eyebrow and my hair to put that. Do my schnoot. And this basically it gives that extra kind of like sheen when the sun hits your face, like sheen. Careful, you'll be blinding yourself going sheen. And like, it lasts ages, guys. Because you don't need a lot, again. Ooh, I did forget to do my blusher. I'm not used to wearing blusher. I only got this for you. For you. And look how bright it is. Not my colour, but it works. Because you don't need a lot. And apparently it goes in between your highlighter and your contour. And like, you can't even tell. But I have like used it loads. But it's just so highly pigmented, you don't need a lot at all. I just think I need to go to a point like, oh, it's like your face is flying. Sorry, I'm going bonkers again, I really do apologise. Absolutely bonkers. Right, so that's done, that's done, that's done. I get kind of lost on where I am. Because I get everything in a little order and then as I'm putting them back, they don't go back in the right place. So, while I'm doing the rest of my face, I need to know which one. So this is the sympathetic, it's like a peachy nude. Or do I go for a lipstick, which is bright red? Decide, please. Decide. Red or peach? See, like, it's bright red. And literally stains. It's now on my fingers. Help me, please. I don't know which lippy to wear. So, um, I am going to just pop um, a little bit of uh, setting powder on just to put over. So none of the lights, all the bits and bobs move. Peach, 
Gucci nude. I'm kind of thinking that as well, but I do like the lip stains. So this is my old um, setting powder. It's rubbish. And I can't say the name, but you know, it's my old setting powder that's rubbish. That that I won't I won't throw makeup away. Um, I've got barium from ten years ago that I'll never use again. But I'll not throw it away. I've used it maybe twice in five years. But I will only throw that away when it's empty. Oh, I need to show you this, Heather. So I got this the other day as a little treat to myself. And um, Christmas is to fill it up. So this holds 25, right? And I've got five. <laughs> I've got the ones that came in my kit. <laughs> So, um, do 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 do. Yeah, it's just a waste, isn't it? So yeah, I do use up my old, my old stuff. Uh, I've been using my old stuff up, um, like, for example, um, I'll use it like if we go to hairdressers or something. But it's just so, like, once you've started using these kind of good quality products, it's really hard to then put up with your old rubbish. I'm like, I'll show you this. So this is the Epic. And the upside is it doesn't go hard like other products, like other mascaras do. And that means you can build it up. Tell me I've got eyeliner on my eyelashes. So I'm literally just trying to get those ones down there without getting it on my face. Right, so that's one coat. I've got a bit of eyeliner in this corner. There we go. Don't oh, 10% battery, it can't be too much longer. I might like, look at that one coat. I mean, I'm going to do more than one coat because I love more than one coat. I'm like, I've had, I've had this nearly three months and listen. I thought you could tell it's new. Well, not new, it's three months. How awesome. It's so actually. I've actually remembered to do a before as well today. A before picture. Do you know what I find? I find the smoky look really easy to do now. I just need other looks to do, to practice. So if you're um, enjoying this or you're getting value from this, um, just go ahead and press that share button. Um, after all, sharing is caring. Headache, best bugger off today. Cannot do my job with this headache. Got hair on that. There we go. So I'll go in for that second coat.
concentration, eh? Mm. But yeah, like it took like I'm sure it was like ten years ago that I got that Barry M makeup. Oh no. I've done what you said. Oh god, I'm making a right mess now. Got a bit of There we go. A little bit of something on this. See I always blink and get like eyeliner at the top of my like where the mascara is. Right, I've made a bit of a mess. Um slipped. And because I'm going out, what time is it? Nearly four. God, I can't believe it. I've spent all day in bed. Right, so this is the 3D fiber lashes. Um Mine's a bit broken. I don't know how I broke it, but I broke the packaging. So, you basically, you put your transplant gel on and you can do this on bare lashes or you can do it on, um, or you can do it on like I'm doing now where I've already got mascara on. Um, either really so you put the transplant gel on and it's literal fibers so then you put the can't see a bit of there put the fibers on and then wax some of that transplant gel back on to set those fibers in place just like so and then you can even go back for a second go if you feel like you need more you can do as many as many as you want and that is the beauty of this the products all the products are buildable you don't have to think oh it's gonna go rock hard like I tried using my own mascara and then putting this over the top did not work And it just gives you that extra va va boom. Get a bit of a wiggle. Making, yeah, the tea. He doesn't like being on camera, so he whispers as though you can't hear it. So I'm gonna do the same to this side. So again, I'm just going in with the transplant gel and I've just whacked myself just there and wrecked my lashes oh. and you know if you think oh I think my girlfriend would like this think my wife would like this think my mum would like this but you're not sure what this should like I have vouchers 
got five pound, ten pound, twenty pound vouchers, and or you can you know get a few, add them together. Amazing Christmas present stuff. So again, transplant gel over the top. And do you know what? They are, it is so easy to take off, especially with the cleansing stick, or if you just use some eye makeup remover. So easy. So some of the corner ones are really little at the minute. I'm using that um, lash serum. I like to make sure I've got them all. And then you know what you can do. I don't. I just close them up. Oh, actually, I thought a loop was meant to go right there. It's come off. Need like need some nail glue to fix my scar. So let's pop that one away. And, you know, if you want to make them waterproof. Do what you can do. A little trick. This isn't the waterproof one. I can't bother to get the waterproof one, but imagine it's the waterproof one. And you just go boom on top. So you can even put the you can put the three D fibers on first, and then put your epic or your waterproof mascara or whatever mascara you want to use put it slap bang over the top Just bring it in, Adam. Just bring it in. No. Oh my God, you're such a wimp. Do you not want some mascara? No. <laughs> Professional brew maker. Right, so I've been told peachy nude is the way to go. Used it on my eyes. Why not use it on my lips as well? So it's great, I mean, it's got like a little arch to it. And it's amazing because it does stay all day. And peachy nude was the way to go. Peachy nude, well done. Mm, Peachy nude, well done. Definitely the way to go. Alright, I'm ready now. I can have my tea in peace. So if um if you've ever been interested if you've interested in any of these products, just drop the word what should we use? Drop the word of the product. 
let's do that. Drop them in the pot and I'll jump in your inbox and sort you out. Um, if you have gained any value from this, go ahead and press that share button. It really helps my business and let's face it, sharing is caring. Um, and if you ever thought of doing what I do, uh, just go ahead and drop the word business and I can send you some information and answer any questions you might have got. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.